Do you hate it? Are you reading this so you can tell me how bad this bike is? It's too heavy, it's underpowered, it drinks oil, and the suspension sucks? Get over it. If you already hate it, this review isn't for you. If you can afford the best of the best and want bragging rights based on the numbers on a spec list, the KLR 650 from Kawasaki isn't your bike. If you don't already hate it, are those things true? Yeah, pretty much. But I'm not sure that should dissuade you from looking at the KLR 650, even if it's just to use as a comparison. The KLR 650 is a dual-purpose bike, the bikes from which adventure bikes were spawned. If adventure bikes are dual-purpose tourers, then the KLR 650 is a dual-purpose go for a ride and let it take you somewhere fun bike. Not if a fledged tourer, but as on-road slash off-road capable as a dual-purpose bike can be. Heavy? The KLR 650 weighs in at 432 pounds, 90 pounds heavier than the XR650L from Honda, 2 pounds heavier than the G650GS from BMW and 40 pounds lighter than a V-Strom 650 from Suzuki. So it is too heavy? I guess it depends on what you're comparing it to.